You'll often notice that if you have been involved with any kind of narcissistic individual, you get isolated from other people, be it your extended family, your friends, your children. A narcissist will go all out to isolate their targets, their victims from that support network. Now, narcissistic individuals, parents in particular, can potentially out outcast their family. They can potentially isolate you from the extended family members by playing the victim of how horrific the family treated them. And as this can happen, as you can come from a very toxic family and need to break free from them, it's not easy to recognise when it's a narcissistic individual that's using Jennifer Frey's Davo and denying any involvement on their part and attacking the victim to reverse the role of victim and offender so the narcissist can get away with their behaviour. Narcissists can isolate their victims by just claiming, I don't trust that friend of yours. I think your family might interfere too much. However, they can also use seemingly nice tactics to isolate their targets and their victims from friends and family. With a narcissistic individual, when you first meet them, they can ch turn on that over praise and encouragement, not only to you, but also your friends and family. They can turn on that charm, that charisma. They offer that excessive praise and encouragement and support to your friends and family to gain their trust, to make you and them believe that they have your best interests at, your, at their heart. They can just turn around to you and simply say, your friend is so amazing. They're so wonderful. They're so kind. They're so caring. You should definitely spend more time with that person. And this creates that sort of facade of support so that the narcissist can subtly steer you into a dependency on the narcissist's approval. They can use gifts and favours, just like they can shower you with excessive gifts. They can shower your friends and family with gifts and favours. Nothing is too much trouble. They are always there to be helpful and supportive and kind, making it seem that they deeply care about you and the relationship and the relationship with others. People can't get over how amazing they are and how kind they are because the narcissist is busy impressing the strangers. Meanwhile, there's a family they've just abandoned because they're busy impressing the strangers. They are manipulators. They can go all out to buy elaborate gifts for your parents to help your friends who are in need to offer those lifts to build that sense of indebtedness and trust. They can play the victim. A narcissist will portray themselves as deeply concerned for your well-being and how you're acting, suggesting to others that there might be something wrong with you. So after some time when you're living in that stress and that gaslighting from all the gaslighting from the narcissist and you're acting out of character, the narcissist can turn to your friends and family out of concern for you, how much they're trying to help you, how much they're trying to support you and be there for you and they just can't understand what's wrong with you. So that people believe that the narcissist genuinely cares about you. Or they can portray themselves to you as deeply concerned for your well-being, suggesting that others might not understand or appreciate you quite as much as the narcissist does. They can turn around and say that they just want to make sure you're happy because they care about you oh so much. And they sometimes feel like that friend of yours that they wanted you to spend so much time with doesn't appreciate you, doesn't see how special you are. They can drive you to the brink of insanity and then get you to the doctors for help, get you on those antidepressants, and then they go telling everybody, especially those who got it first, to spread the rumours for them. And then they can portray themselves as the self-righteous martyr that's trying to support you so that your friends and family think that you're lucky to have the narcissist by your side, not recognising it's the narcissist who's destroying you. Narcissistic individuals will use that subtle undermining. They will outwardly praise others to plant those seeds of doubt about your relationship in a subtle manner. 
So they will turn around and say, it's great you spend so much time with your parents. I just hope they appreciate you as much as I do. Sometimes I think they might interfere too much. I'm pleased you spend so much time with that friends of, friend of yours. I just hope that they appreciate you as much as I do. I just think sometimes they might take you for granted. They're planting those seeds of self-doubt within you in a nice way. They'll tell you that they think your family means well, but sometimes they perhaps they interfere a bit too much. So it seems like the narcissist is a genuine person. The narcissist will go all out to create that dependency. They encourage you to rely on them and them alone for emotional support and decision making, framing it as their way of looking out for you. And when something goes wrong, they will claim it's only because they care. They were only trying to help you. They were only trying to support you. They will claim that they know your family loves you, but you can always count on them to understand you completely that they're the ones that will always be there for you no matter what and they will even say remember that time you need this and your friend or your parent wasn't there they're sly they're manipulative they're exploitative they will use selective compliments a narcissistic individual will selectively compliment your friends and family in ways that align with the narcissist's own agenda making you feel special when you choose the narcissist's company over the company of your friends and family. They will turn around and claim that your sibling, your friend, your parent is so kind and it's so wonderful just how much they support you, but they're glad you have someone like them, the narcissist, to balance it out when your friend or family member can't be there for you making out that the narcissist will always be there for you. Meanwhile, all of a sudden they fall in silence on you and disappear on you and you've got no one left to turn to because the narcissist has manipulated and triangulated you against everybody or everybody against you. People think you're the problem. You become ashamed to speak out about what is happening. People believe the narcissist because of the overt praise and the encouragement and the gifts and then playing the victim and the subtle undermining. They will use manipulative conversations to steer the conversation to highlight the narcissist's importance in your life, making out to either your friends and family that the narcissist is a crucial support system in your life, especially if they've driven you to the brink of despair, or to you that they're a crucial part in your life. The issues are all you, that you're the one that's going crazy, that you're the one that's mentally unstable and you've got no one left to turn to other than the narcissist. They will tell your family that they're the ones that will always be there for you, that they just want what's best for you and that they're grateful that your friends and family are supporting you. However, you just need some time by yourself. So then it seems like your friends and family are no longer messaging you. And a narcissist can turn around and simply state that you'll never find someone like me. And they genuinely believe that they're the best thing since sliced bread and you'll never find anyone like them. Unfortunately, there's quite a few of them around and the whole point in breaking free is to never find anyone like them again, learn about and educate ourselves on their tactics so that we can avoid them in the future, so that we can listen to our instincts. The tactics that narcissists use create that web of dependency and the narcissist remaining in control. It isolates you from your support network, from your friends and family, while it seems like the narcissist is caring and just wants what's best for you. A narcissist would rather impress a stranger than care for their own family. And if they see a better opportunity, they will cut and run before you even know what's happened to you. The best thing you can do is if, if this has happened is start reaching out to your friends and family. Go on that recovery journey. You'll often notice that when the narcissist is no longer a part of your life, things slowly start to get better for you and your friends and family will notice you returning to the person you were, a better version of the person you were, before you even met the narcissist. 
And then other people begin to connect the dots and see who the real issue is. Meanwhile, the narcissist hits a pattern of repeat and blames everybody else for their issues because they fail to reflect, they fail to do the work and they fail to change. They just blame and shame everyone else for their problems. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading. Them. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support of the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to or have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you cannot go no contact with them the new book which is the hilarious and horrifying narcissistic memes and their meanings and this one strays away from actually learning about the disorder and is more focused on recovery which is healing from narcissistic abuse a guided journal for recovery and empowerment and these are all available on amazon if you'd like to go and take a look at those the links will be in the video description thank you very much for watching go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day bye